What's happening, y'all? It's your man Sam and here at Viral Hip Hop News. Listen, do me a favor. You see the brother right now on your screen. Go down to my description box and follow Chakra Doctor at Chakra Doctor TV on YouTube. Your only place to find miracle food. But yeah, man. You know, you know what's crazy? So talking about Clubhouse, I was in there this morning. Right. And the conversation of Jaguar Wright came up. You remember that? Oh name, right? man, you serious? What happened to Jaguar Wright? And they were talking about how she was really blowing the whistle on the music industry and they were talking about various interviews that she did and obviously ours did very well. Which ours kicked right. it off. Our, obviously ours kicked it off. I didn't want to sit back and toot our horn, but I'm, I'm just listening. I'm right. not cutting anybody off. I'm listening. And they were talking about how a lot of what she was saying was truth, man. We had our brother in here and because he didn't mention any names, we won't, but he was obviously talking about her and was saying basically she was bullshit. Right? Bat, she said bat shit crazy was his words. Bat shit crazy. But I had people that were validating her who were very deep in the industry saying that she was right. So it was a, it's, so maybe some things she was saying was, and maybe some things she was saying wasn't. But then they got on the conversation of where she went. Where is Jaguar right? Is she dead? Did she get paid off? And a lot of people were under the suspicion that Jaguar right was paid a lump sum of money to shut the hell up. I don't think so. A corner right. And then do her thing. I wanted to know what you thought about that. I don't think so. You think she did? No, I don't know. So I don't I think. Hope, uh, I, I think. That. I think it's a little bit of truth in all of it. Like I think it's a lot of stuff she said was true. I think some stuff may have been fabricated. You know what I mean? She may be a little cuckoo, but that don't mean nothing at the end of the day. You know, I think what happened was when you in that type of energy, it's an energy that's very toxic and draining because you got to remember. All all the likes she's getting and people, you know, coming at her and, and saying, oh, we love you. She's getting a lot of probably hate mail, yeah, yeah. death threats, especially yeah. if she's really, you know, going at people like that and really exposing what she's what she saw on it's real. Like she's gonna be getting that that negative energy. And I just think, and I hope, you know, hopefully I'm right about this. She kind of just fell back yeah. from the whole thing because of the energy. It's a it's a real negative, you know, um energy that could weigh on you heavy when you get into that type of stuff because when you start getting into that, you you it's almost like you're going down a rabbit hole. Like, damn. Like, you, you get disappointed. You get scared. You get sad. You get lonely because it's like you're finding out stuff. Disappointed that, that that you, you know, you thought was one way. And it's a way. It's totally, totally different. And her being in the industry, probably seeing a lot of things, you know, probably messed it up. Or she just could be lying and fell back because, the, you know, because it was getting hot. It could be anywhere in between that. My opinion, but honestly, is I really don't know. Yeah, I like I like that more. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause you figure she wasn't out there in the public like crazy before that anyway. Nah, she exactly. She was quiet, right? You feel me? And what brought her out? The roots? Malik, Malik B passed. Yeah, away. that's right. You know what I'm saying? And she was talking about that because then they started going in, and then she went in on um, what's my man? I'm, I'm, root from the root. Black yeah, Black Thought. Black Thought. She yeah. Black Thought and Dice Raw and. Everybody else after that too. She, Mary J. Everybody. She went quick common, all of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying that she went on a, a going in on everybody tour. You know what I mean? And like you said, that rush, and it is a rush, especially on social media and these what airways where you and millions and millions of views she did. You can only imagine the crazy imbalances she got with <sighs> hate mail and love and this and that, or what that would do to a person. And then you realize you sit back and kind of analyze everything. It's like, damn, what is going on? Is it really worth it? I didn't live this life to begin with. Mm -hmm. I got emotional about a situation that I was emotional about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then went crazy. And I'm not meaning the crazy in the sense of like just went in all the way in. You know what I mean? And this ain't really me anyway. I, I like that more than even somebody sliding some money in her pocket. Right. Because, and it would be interesting. You know what I'm saying? If somebody really did give her some money to shut up because she had more. And she was really a threat like that. That would be right. interesting, but it I, would be. I like what you say more. I lean toward that more. Honestly. Right, because the conspiracy stuff, people can go all, go crazy with that. You know what I mean? But, um, I, you know, I just think that, man, that, you know, imagine all the stuff that we know yeah. that we ain't put out there. Somebody actually really being in and around these people, there's probably all types of crazy stuff going on. I mean, just in a regular world. People are sleeping with this person. This person's doing that person. This person's doing this. This is just in a regular life. Imagine like in Hollywood where everybody got money. Everybody, everybody, what they are is magnified because of the money, the fame, the success. It's probably all types of crazy stuff that goes on. You know, the you know the selling a soul thing, which a lot of people try to downplay that, but that that's just simple. It's easy, too easy. It's easy, it's too easy. You mean you've been in the industry, you know. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's like it, it, it can happen. It's too easy. You know what I mean? So. 
One person I can, I think that sold their soul is Meg Thee Stallion. On a level, on a level where it's like, like you really run with this whole thought thing. Like you don't care no more. You're almost like a little Nas X. It's like, this is the agenda that you pushing. Like, does she have an album out? Does she do any other type of music but slut rap mm -hmm. at this point? And maybe I'm too critical. Maybe I am. But I'm just I'm just sitting back like, damn. Like, that's all you could do. It's the same play over and over. Like, you're shaking your butt. Now you're doing, the, you know, the the uh, the devil stuff. In which I don't, you know, I ain't going to say that I believe in the devil per se, as they say. But you know how people get into that, the whole hers and things like that. That offends a lot of people, you know what I mean? Especially in the churches and the Muslims and things like that. It's antagonizing people and things. But I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to fall back, though. But I just think that, you know, she pretty much sold her soul for that image. I ain't saying, like, you know, she made a blood sacrifice to Illuminati. But she sold her soul to being going all out, you know, putting her ass on the joint. Boom, 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 boom. And not really caring who it's affecting because I'm just getting the bag. I think she's, I think she's all the way there. Do you... Do you do you see? I want people to understand something. Though. Do you, is it a dislike for her or is it not at all? Exactly, not at all. Exactly. I, I mean, I we can have her here and I will talk to her and I will ask her those questions. Mm -hmm. We will definitely both ask her, like, what Absolutely. do you think about the effects? Boom, boom, boom. I'll never dislike her. Like, I don't have no reason to dislike her. Exactly. I think she's definitely talented, and I just you know she's younger too. I mean, she's gonna she's getting older as we speak, and maybe we gotta allow her that time to grow. So I will give her that. Maybe she will change, but like. Even Nicki Minaj. Let's look at Nicki. She was on that for a little bit, but she kind of transitioned a little bit. She's talking about loving the black man and this and that and not faking orgasm. She's really kind of growing up. To introduce the show when I sent this to Sam, ask, oh God, that nigga said, oh God, you the man, Cass. I spit white like a clan mask, and I'm a hustler. I could stand out on the beach and sell sandbags. Some things can't last, but this ain't just a podcast. This is Sam Ant and oh God, Cass. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Go gang.